what is up guys and welcome to the channel and today we are starting off with the truck yes she is a bit cold but hey why not just go for a cold start Doesn't that sound just great? So she is a bit cold in here, so we will turn on the hot air and the wipers on. Her service airbag, which I haven't got intention to fix in that. It's just a little sensor that you have to fix, but I'm not really concerned about it. Just I just clear it off. That's what I really do. So today we are going to go look at my dirt bike. It is a 2004 Honda CR125. I wanted to show you the bike. Um, I haven't really brought it to the channel. Uh, we're going to do one about the truck real soon. I know you guys don't know much about the truck yet. Um, but we're going to tell you about my Honda CR125, my dirt bike that I am going to run. It's going to be featured in the vlog. So let's get down and uh, take a look at it. All right, so we are here. Where my dirt bike is. And this is my dad's company. He owns a logging company and I work there also. Um, during the weekdays, some, some weekends, but here's where my dirt bike is. And uh, let's go right inside. All right, so here is my dirt bike. It is a 2004 Honda CR125, as like I said, that good looking bike. And uh, we're gonna go over it, what I done to it. Um, like, actually, I really done nothing to it, to be honest. But like, how I got this bike and, you know, where it came from. Let's just talk about that. So this dirt bike is a 2004 Honda CR125. I got it from a guy up in Rome area, Rome, New York. And he was selling it for about eighteen hundred on Craigslist. It came with a whole bunch of additional parts, such as um, new plastics, front plastics, new tires, front and back, new chain, new sprocket, many aftermarket parts like unbreakable levers, rental handlebars, race tech suspension none to it, as in you can see right there. Tusk wheels, their aftermarket, all the way down beyond the wheel. I mean brakes, at oversized rotors. Oversized rotors. I mean everything of this bike is Phenomenal. I mean it is looks so badass and the way I want to ride it Is the way this bike looks right now like I want to ride the piss out of it and just You know full gun and that's what these two strokes are And you can see it has a FMF shorty pipe and FMF gold series exhaust And new seat cover on there Bunch of upgraded plastic. Awesome bike. Why not get this bike for eighteen hundred? With all these additional options. I mean, there's so much on this bike that's worth more than what I paid for, and it came with whole a whole bunch of other stuff. But let me tell you a backstory about this bike of how it was most likely broken. So as you can see, that jug right there is what was the problem. We took the spark plug off right here and we did a compression test and it was at one it was at 120 recommended by Honda they should be at 150 to 160 now we know there was a problem we took off the whole top piece the cylinder head the jug was cracked right in the middle so it wasn't really getting the full power that it needed so we put a brand new jug right straight, right straight from Babbitt's we put a new cylinder head on, and um, actually, it's all good to go. And it says it says it only has like forty some hours right on. I don't know if you guys can see that, but and I mean, it's just amazing how we got this all bike back together. We put a brand new Wyasco top end kit on it. Um, it came with a Makuni carburetor, so that's aftermarket as well. Next thing I want to do is clean out this air filter box. The air filter is not really that uh, clean yet, so I'm gonna do that. And came with wider foot pegs. 
Also came with this nice stand uh, presented by Fly Racing. They do a really good job in what they do, and I really, you know, I've seen their products. They never fail. So make sure you check them out. Fly Racing, they have some good dirt bike stuff for you, such as the stand, which was amazing. So, so that is my dirt bike. Um, it is a 2004 Honda CR125. It is a two-stroke, not a four-stroke for you non-dirt bike riders out there that don't know this. But um, like I said, the whole bike is phenomenal. Even with the race tech suspension, that was just a heater kicking on. But race tech suspension under it is phenomenal. I mean, that's a, that's a grand right there. So race tech suspension... I mean, that is, that, that's phenomenal. I, I cannot wait to see how it actually rides, to be honest. And I'm really psyched about getting on this thing. So when springtime comes, when it gets warmer out, we're going to ride this bike. We're going to take it to a track. I'm telling you what, it's going to be so much fun. I hope you guys are really in store for that. So stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and like it. So we are going to do another vlog about the truck soon. When it gets nice, I was like, be outside and really talk about it in depth about the truck. That... We're going to talk about everything about the truck, what it's gone through. Um, like I said, you follow my Instagram account, I'll put it down below. Um, it is that white underscore 6.0. I'll put it in the description down below. You can just follow it. And like I said, I'm going to be posting these po or videos, um, i say like two days a week and maybe some on the weekends. So make sure you uh, follow me on Instagram for the latest updates. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. I hope you really like this video. Like I said, we are going to do so much stuff with that bike, and it's going to be awesome. So make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and have a great day.